wireless. We're going to try it out. Um, got the route sheet set up. I'm going to, the next video is going to be of me on the route, but, uh, that's what we got left. The driver came in, he hurt himself a little bit. So I got to get this stuff done. We're going to start with uh, this one, Lorenzo's and I'll see you out there. Got my new mic microphone in. Feel a little goofy with this GoPro on my head, bud. Screw it. Well, that gate was not opening, so I know one way to get it open. Alright, so I gotta pull this one out, drag this one out, scoop it up with my truck, back up to avoid those wires, and uh, put them back. Put them back. Let's get this. The steering wheel's not the best right now. It's gotta get a new pump or something. Looking at the camera now. I know the stop, so once my tailgate gets about that white line. So I gotta watch that wire up there. Uh, okay, we're good. See a gap right there, which isn't a good thing. We gotta go to the. I mean, have to get that fixed. What that is is the sensor is just not allowing the blade to come back all the way. So what ends up happening is garbage can get behind that blade a lot easier, and that's not a good thing because. Smells delicious. Um, not a good thing because you gotta clean it out more often. Obviously, cleaning that out is not the most fun. Looking at that camera, make sure no one's behind me directly. This has a good uh, radio. It's just sometimes when you're doing other stuff. It, of course, it, it doesn't work in your favor when you want it to. Uh, whenever I put it in drive or take it out of reverse, basically, the radio starts playing again. It's just like that. Alright, so Lorenzo's is done. And for plumbing is done. And I just stop. Right when that uh, dumpster comes out of the forks, stop immediately. Pull the forks up. On to the next one. This liquor store is our customer, but they're blocked right now. All right. This truck turning radius is just the right side. And it's a brand new truck. The right side is just horrible, so I, I don't even bother making these right turns. Next up on my joystick because. Uh, because the uh, on the Corrado can, that's the one with the on the arm. The Corrado can uh, is opposite. The joystick uh, motions are opposite with the with the forks. Now it's good to know you know your area because it it takes it a little a little while to know where every driveway where the dumpsters are, which is like as in you know where, where the driveway is, where the is it right after this stop? Is it right after that? And this guy probably put this fence up so we can't U turn in there anymore. Loser. This steering wheel is so messed up. I will go for it. Now, see, they have these pipes here. This has the potential of falling out. I mean, I can't. I don't expect the driver, because I'm not the regular driver, like I always say to customers. Never get a chance to talk to them. Not the regular driver, you know. So that that means it goes for a lot of you know things, which is like that means if it's not the regular driver, not going to be done the same day. Might not even find the stop unless it's visible because I always say you know hiding the garbage can. You, you can't hide your dumpster. You got to have it out because and it 
the guy got to know where it is, and if it's in a tricky spot, and if it's some new guy, guess what? You have a real potential of some crap getting torn down, like tree branches, <laughs> wires, hitting cars. You know, obviously, you got to be paying attention. That's an easy thing to say, but a lot of stuff going on. Looking in the mirrors, you know, I'm even looking up, making sure there's wires, because when you come out, you might, you might snag a wire. This one's done already. You might snag a wire um, coming out, coming backward because some of the hooks and ridges of the metal are all like in a different angle. Like, see the wire there? It's, or excuse me, the tree branch. I just snapped the branch right there. So, you know, that branch could be connected to a wire, and then, you know, that wire is connected to a big power line, and blah, blah, blah. Because why not? Yeah, this car's coming and already stopped. Good. So when you're backing out of the lane, always you're going one lane at a time. Blocking your lane, stopping, looking for the next lane, block, going to block the next lane. That's how you go right there. Wave, sir. <laughs> All right. Usually I'm here in the morning, but this time there is no sound ordinance for me. Some people are probably like, why? Why aren't you closing the gate? Blah blah blah. You know, we probably between this route and five other front loaders, we're definitely more front loaders. Yeah, you can't be. You know, you do everything perfect, you ain't gonna get the route done. You want your garbage picked up? Let us do what we do. Alright, looking at that mirror. Here's the fun part, right next to the light. Just kind of have to go. That guy's stopping. Right, my rule is for myself car passes, let off the brakes. Car passes, let off the brakes. Car passes, let off the brakes. Uh, little by little. Little by little. Uh, See, if I can't see them, there's a red light. Okay, there's a light right here. Uh, I need to let it go. Uh. <laughs> yeah, that's no fun. <laughs> Wanna make, if you ever see any liquid coming out of the dumpster, you roll your window up immediately. Don't ever hesitate. <laughs> All right, so this one we're gonna get both dumpsters, cardboard and garbage. A lot of customers, um, whether they think it or not, like it or not, yeah, they contaminate their garbage, uh, their cardboard all the time. So if you want, if you want to hear the explanation, you got a cup, a, a truck full of cardboard. And they dump, and, they, and you, know, you get charged ten dollars a yard, or what? Sometimes the the dumps pay you to to dump cardboard, so that you go from that not paying a lot or getting paid a little bit to now somebody one customer contaminated the entire load, so now that whole entire load has to go get thrown away in the garbage, and you get charged a hundred dollars a ton. Um, so. What ends up happening is that customer gets charged for that entire dump. Is how it should be. Pain in the ass. Plastic dumpers are good, but they suck at the same time. All right, so this. So we're not 100% even with it. But uh, as long as we got this steel load, it's just horrible. Ah, my gosh, my god, brand new truck. It's disgusting what these people put out nowadays. It's, it's just disgusting. And they want to make electric trucks, they can't even get diesel trucks running correctly. Absolute joke of trucks nowadays. Well, I mean, we have a Peterbilt uh, cab over, which I will say, so this is a, excuse me, this is a cab over, um, cab
cab over engine, COE. Uh, a conventional cab is like a truck truck, the ones that you know that you see or you sit over. Now the old Max apparently those trucks did a little better with the regen, with the DEF and stuff, and um, but these cab overs for like literally eight or ten years, just one of the worst trucks on the road, Mac cab overs. And then so to get it fixed, but they'll charge it two, three thousand just to hook it up to the computer to diagnose it. It's disgusting. It's absolutely disgusting what these people uh, do. You know, twenty thousand dollars for a repair. And they don't even know what it is, to be honest. They're just guessing. Build this stuff. If you're a builder, our trucks are eight feet wide. Just know that they're eight feet wide. This is this is the reality right here. I'm gonna go in all the way up until this touch, all, it's about to touch. And then these, these, this customer has their dumpster over full, so this is like, you know, technically this is a three yarder, so they should be paying for three yards of garbage, because like I say, with well, water bill, with electric, if you use more, you pay for more. But we're nice. And it's got wood, so there's a car next to me, I gotta be careful. This is a little tricky getting it up back up too. Like that's what people don't realize is you gotta have some experience. Otherwise, this guy will will just wreck this side of the uh, enclosure. That's just the reality. <laughs> so we're gonna do this. You know, and I'm standing up. It's you know I've been doing this for nine years and I'm still doing it. Like I'm still. Ow! I just hit my elbow. I'm still focused here because it's not the easiest thing. It takes focus. That's how you do it. The whole road's leading up to this stop was blocked, so I had a detour. My turning radius, but I think I got it still. Eventually got taken off. Like I keep saying, it's not the same driver. We've had four or five different drivers. Until you get one. I mean, really, you get like 15 or 20 drivers until you get one, but people actually having the ability to get on out to get on the route. Um gosh, my finger got caught up in this. To get uh the ability to start driving the route. There's probably four or five people. This one's always fun, but there's no traffic on the uh street, so that's going to make it a lot easier to pick this one up. So I know I'm not looking up because I know the wires are good, but I've definitely looked up plenty amount of times. Neutral, just lifting it up. Now I'm just backing up. I got all these wires. Gotta love wires. So when I do this, I'm going to hit reverse. I got my side camera, my backup camera. And I'm going to look here. So I'm blocking this first lane. And then now I'm, block, I'm going to start blocking the opposite lane. All right. And then now I'm going to just, this wire right above me is the only wire that I got to watch. Which I'm good. So if I wasn't good, I would just go a little straight in the back wheels. And focus here. The back wheels would be touching that guy's driveway. Not touching it, but it would be right before it. And the back of my truck will be hanging over his driveway, but I'm showing where to get this one. Lift it down so that the, that the fork it has like the things that go vertical. So I just want to get the fork. There you go. I'll point them out once it's coming out here. But you just want to get the sleeve above that vertical thing so that it doesn't stay locked. <laughs> Gotta watch those mirrors in these tight spots. Alright, no wires. One stop left. 
sunglasses. I'm just gonna get it on the way in. I gotta take my sunglasses off. I can't see anything in here. I wanted to back the tailgate up further than where he was so that it doesn't have the potential of hitting him. So I have to hold the unlock button and then the tailgate up with my uh, left finger. Now since I have the uh, fo uh, forehead thing on, I can have my foot on the brake without pulling the parking brake. So that's going up. It's out, so now that I gotta hold this button to retract it manually. You can't see anything back here. We're all the new trucks have all these sensors and new stuff on it. But you can see the garbage it's I mean it uh, fills up a lot of space in the back. So you can't see the blade going out. Blades past the midpoint. I can see it coming out. Once it goes all the way to the back, I'm gonna go forward. Get away from the garbage. I'm gonna retract the blade. And I'm away from the garbage. I'm gonna back and forth, back and forth. It's out, back. Out a little, back. And I wasn't that full, so I know there's no garbage hanging off the back. But usually you get out to check if there's any garbage off the seal. Hanging um, off the seal. Because then, um, you know, I see something right here, so I'm actually going to get out. I'm going to close it halfway. Not halfway, I'm going to close it somewhat. Usually I find a stick. Just like that. All right, now I know that the tailgate's clear. I'm just gonna hold it till it's all the way down. And I can actually start rolling, so I know nothing's gonna fall out of the truck. I really know. So that's locked. Got a green light. And I got one more stop on the way in. That's it. We're doing all this road work in the area, so make it more difficult for us to get around. A lot of people park right in front of the, uh, right in front of our gate. All right. I know where we're going. And my camera just went out. Brand new truck, remember that. Successful day again. I think we all, hopefully I got into everyone's head that Max trucks are a complete joke nowadays. But it's what we have to deal with. We only got a couple companies. Um, it's always good picking up garbage. Always uh, never the same day, always different. Until next time.